what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is Munya and welcome to a weekly analysis so today we're going to be doing something different uh we're going to be doing something uh that i haven't done before we're going to be doing a weekly analysis for boom and crash right we're be doing the weekly analysis for boom and crash so i'm not doing something different if you want the forex uh analysis you can go check it out on our on our website or the blog section on the blog section you'll find out uh what we're expecting our forex players to be doing you can also check our library i've updated a new book where you can get uh uh booming crash strategies so go check it out download uh the the book and read about it so as usual like and comment to get free vip access this coming thursday i'll be picking uh uh, we now be doing the giveaway this current Thursday. All right, so let's take a look at Boom 500. So this is the weekly time frame for uh, for Boom 500. I had already done the analysis already, so I'm just gonna start off from the weekly so that you see what is happening. So for the weekly, you can tell that price is now retested our support. This is tend to be our support zone. Why? Because here around 16 Feb price tested this level and then again uh, a few days ago a few, few weeks ago actually in two august price again tested this level so i uh, i've labeled this as our support zone let's go to the four hour time frame and see or the daily time frame and see what's been happening daily so as you can see this is still our support so from the daily time frame we we're able to draw our channel so we can see that boom 500 has been in a downtrend for the past uh one month i think it's been in a downtrend but it's now taking a new direction from now on boom 500 is now taking a new direction and here is what we found out we now found out that a new ascending channel is now formed so we're expecting our price to start pushing up to correct this downward movement and start going up but we won't trade uh blindly as usual we will need uh, uh certain conditions to be met certain key areas to be reached so right here we also have uh support and resistance level to help us so we can see that this and this is now our new support and this is now our new resistance and price is uh, rejected at this level at the same time we we're on a critical pivot on our trend line and then it went back to our support zone so we're expecting price to push back up from support it's already bullish now already bullish and already we have, we have our, our ascending channel right so we're expecting a breakout first and once the breakout is set we're expecting price to start pushing up so here are the levels that we'll be targeting we'll be targeting this level first once the breakout happens we want to be at this level first we also want to reach this level so these are key areas that we'll be expecting our price to reach. We also want to reach this level, right? After our breakout. So the first level is this one, the second is this one, the third is this one. Right. So you can place your will your buy trades but uh once you get the time to do it, right? And it's already bullish. Could have been in profit but moment ago and uh yeah that is that is all for our our boom 500 it's clear that we're pushing up maybe let's check the four hour time frame just you can get proper entries for our time frame this is what it's showing us uh the channel again like a key a key level another key level here but then 
it's not that important. So the ascending channel has started. I uh, expect to ride on it. Yes, we might experience dips up to this level, but this is what we hope for. So let's go to boom 1000. Remember, if you want the Forex uh, analysis, is there on our blog? It's tradingandmoney.com. I will leave the link down below. Lose, use the link down below so that you don't get lost. Okay. So this is our boom 1000. We've now moved to boom 1000. And this is what has been happening. There was quite a bit of consolidation here. The channel wasn't was going sideways. And our support and resistance levels have, have been uh, respected quite a number of times. Although we experienced this fake out that happened. But at the same time we knew about it because we had a proper channel. So this is the channel. The outer channel is from the daily, from the weekly time frame. We're in the four hour time frame. So we're expecting price to maybe reach our resistance zone and then start bouncing again. Right? We're expecting this choppy market to continue, but uh, overall, we have an ascending channel. After this choppy market, we will then know the proper direction which. 1000 will take so for the meantime you can be scalping on these movements okay let's move on to crash uh 1000 and crash 1000 short as a clear uptrend clear uptrend our channel is in a proper uptrend and we're expecting uh price to to reach this resistance level this has been a key level uh here 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 so we're expecting price to reach our key level short sure does that uh this is a clear uptrend even if you go into your uh, one hour time frame you can see what's happening maybe let's check it out there Okay, so this is the level that we want to reach first. Then, if you see a breakout from our resistance, then we, know, we now know that this is our new support, and we are now targeting higher levels on our on our trend line. Right, so this is how it's been moving. I uh, decided to be choppy here, here, here. But then it came broke out there was a breakout yeah and then there was a breakout and then we are expect we, we expect this channel to now uh, that ascending okay I don't know how it's gonna form remember Forex is risky and past performance is not indicative of future results. So protect your capital. As a trader, your first job is to protect your capital, not to make money. If you can understand that, uh, you will be a profitable trader. So let's take a look at crash 500, which is our last uh, in this on booming crash. And yeah, we are in our four hour time frame again. We've seen an ascending channel, we've seen an ascending channel, we've seen an ascending channel, and right now on, on crash, we are at a, we're at a resistance level, right? So we're expecting maybe price to fall back and start pushing up again, as you can see. This has been a support zone. This has been a support zone. So price should may at least uh, advance to our to our support and then start pushing up. But otherwise <clears throat> we've been ascending, although here we were now choppy, still we will still benefit from the choppiness. Price is gonna bounce here. And maybe 
from a proper direction going up did i did the same thing which uh which boom 1000 was doing if you can see the choppiness that's also what we are expecting to see here and then maybe a breakout from our resistance so that this becomes a new support and then maybe we reach to this new resistance level all right guys uh remember to always check on our blog at tradingandmoney.com subscribe like share uh let's grow let's get to 15,000 subscribers i'll be sharing uh by announcing the winner for the vip access this coming thursday so make sure you comment so that i can pick you up all right guys that is all for today until next time